Hello everyone, Russ of Aquarium X Pets here. This aquarium has long been dedicated to invertebrates, but recently an invertebrate started showing up in this tank that is not entirely welcome. You can see one right at the center of the screen falling down through the water column. And there's one or two crawling on the glass there. It's been infested with planaria. And there are a bunch of medaka in here, rice fish, Japanese rice fish. And the planaria are not going to harm the rice fish, but they can and do harm some other invertebrates like shrimp, potentially isopods. I was trying to get a culture of uh, freshwater isopods going in this tank. I introduced some a while ago, but I think I accidentally introduced some planaria at the same time. And so the medaka or rice fish will probably eat some of these uh, planaria, but they're not going to eliminate them entirely. And unfortunately, the uh, planaria can not only damage shrimp and potentially isopods, but also snails and, and so on. So I am concerned about having them in here. And even though I find them rather interesting, I am going to have to treat them with medication. So, so I purchased some of this online, Fenbendazole, the brand, as you can see, is Panicure C, sold as a canine dewormer. It is sold in many forms at many different uh, concentrations. This particular form, the uh, box contains several pouches, and each pouch has one gram in it. And you can dissolve one gram in 100 milliliters of water. That's what I did here. It doesn't dissolve extremely well, so I dumped it in, shook it up quite a lot, and it's got this kind of opaque white bubbly appearance to it. And now I'm going to administer one uh, milliliter of this for each gallon of water in the tank. This tank has about a little over 15 gallons of water, so I'm going to dose for 16 gallons of water in here. You can see that there are a lot of snail shells at the bottom, partly because the planarians appear to have been killing some of them. So some of these are just really old shells that are in there and are dissolving and whatnot in the water. But uh, And there are, there are a number of living snails in there. But I have noticed a decline in snails, and I believe that is due in part to the planaria. You can see the sponge filter there is off right now. I just turned it off to film so it doesn't sound like bubbles but that'll turn back on in a few minutes. So now I'm going to add 15 milliliters of the solution and then wait about three to five days, perform a partial water change, uh, and then two weeks from the initial dose, I'm going to dose again and repeat the process. All right, 16 milligrams in there. Wow, that's very... Very milky indeed. And now start the filter back up. And there it goes. Keep that circulating in the water. And about five days I'll do that water change like I said and then two weeks from the initial dose I will dose again as this um, fenbendazole apparently does not affect the eggs of the planaria so I need to uh, deal with those eggs once they hatch and that should eliminate the problem I hope so and then maybe the uh, isopods I can get going again Thanks for watching today. I post videos every Friday with live streams and shorts during the week as well. Feel free to share, rate, comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And then tap the bell for all notifications so you don't miss my next video.